Ila na venga ni we mana kana ni mbesa mundu nasia pewa pewa kila mundu akitomigwa <laughs> na likomba makainewa mambita mbazu <clears throat> na likomba this is not my club and I'm here guys to sell to you eh, beers my beer is my word my beer is my story my beer is my you know my motivation it's my beer I'm selling to you guys right now na likomba makainewa mambita mbazu <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. How are you doing today? Oh, your lady Delta underscore like the car. She is back here for you, my peeps. You know, for you, my love, love, love online and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube lovers. You know, I'm sharing my love to you guys. Just know I love you so much. Wherever you are, touch your heart. Just say Delta loves me. Because I have a lot of love to share, okay? And that's why I chose to share my love through my story, you know, so that I can, you know, I can make people somewhere, somebody somewhere know that, oh, I can do this and I can make it in life. It's never too late. So now I just want to share a bit story about women and men, marriage and relationships. Are we together here? I know this is very common. That's why I'm trying to talk about how I went to Dubai and how, you know, I started working in Dubai and I managed to get a job in Dubai. I'm just about to share more. If you keep on uh, seeing my stories, you can always make a comment there asking a question and then I can tackle that through my, my, you know, I can talk about it through here so that you can know and maybe somebody else who wants to know the same answer. Don't feel free to comment, feel free to ask questions, all right? If you wanna be uh, optimistic, it's up to you. You know, if you wanna be negative, it's up to you. You know, because we are all born differently. You know, mungu alipleta duniani, so kila mtu na gift yake. We all have different gifts. We all have purpose, different purposes to be on this planet. So, if you choose to be negative towards Belta, it's your choice. If you choose to be positive towards Belta, it's your choice. If you choose to pick the positive side of Belta. Or the negative side of Delta, it's a it's a pony. So guys, don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, subscribe. Hello, you know, it's like a bell down there for notification. You know, comment, like, and share because I'm sharing stories that anybody would want to know. Who doesn't want to go and work in Dubai if there's a chance and make a difference? Everybody wants. I know a couple of people want. So don't forget to share because I'm here to help you. You know, and I'm not capping. I'm not capping. I'm, I'm so, so, so sincere when it comes to this. All right? So, okay. As I said, I want to talk something about men and women in a, you know, in a marriage and also in a relationship. Don't forget, before you get married, you always pass through, you know, a relationship. Then it comes to marriage. So, I have ideas and I have knowledge about marriages. I have knowledge about relationship. Because you remember I gave birth at the end of 20. I was very young. I was a teenager. I was, no, I knew nothing, nothing about life. And I didn't know what I'm putting myself into. So I have ideas when I'm sharing here. You, you know, if you want to pick it to change your life, up for you. So I've come to realize, uh, you know, there's a lot of divorce and single mothers around and relationship uh, breaking and cheating and to be very sincere with you me as a person and as i've been married i've dated i know everything about that you know so i know some of the, some of the reasons that normally comes in in a marriage or in a relationship and makes people separate you know and uh, number one, I've come to, to realize is not being transparent with your partner. All right? Some people think if it's a woman, if I can do something without telling my husband, it's going to work. And the man sometimes thinks if I can do this without telling my wife, I'm going to do it. Just know that God gave, gave us instincts. And whatever you normally do, hiding your partner trust me they feel it they feel it there's that feeling you always feel 
if a man you're cheating on your husband on your wife or on your girlfriend just know that they start feeling instincts and they're always true if you're a woman and you're cheating on your man just know that man always have an instinct there's something always that man always feels sometimes but he doesn't know why he feels it until when everything came to to a life then somebody will be like and i've been thinking this i've been seeing this you know that's how you know everything happens like that so if you're not ready to be to be honest to your marriage or to your relationship please don't put yourself into any stay alone just stay alone you cannot afford you know what women we talk too much about men you see women sharing their story the way their husband were abusive don't forget that guy to start being abusive something started he just w didn't wake up one day like this and started hitting you hard or you know throwing words bad words to you or maybe abusing you no something happened you need to sit down and visualize and think where did everything happen to come to this because women we share so many things in social media about being in a toxic uh, relationship being in a abusive uh, marriage or kind of stories we share they're so common in uh, youtube but you need to know for this guy to start being abusive to a woman or this marriage or relationship start being toxic there's something started from somewhere it did it just did wake up in the morning you know and things started going left or things started being crazy something happened and let me tell you number one that makes marriages and relationships not work respect let me tell you something a woman wherever you are a man does not request a lot from a woman apart from respect i'm telling you, if you respect a man that man can give you everything if you respect a man that respect to give to that man that man can say you know what i'm not going to cheat respect is very important and i've realized this as i said from my part one of my story i come from a polygamist family and this something i will never support on this planet is polygamous i will never support because trust me if your man and you have a mpango or kando whatever you call it your wife she's lacking something you are not going to treat your wife a hundred percent like your wife because your mind your emotions they are fixed you, they're fixed and there's no way you can marry these two people the same at you, you, you at you love mpangoa kando the way you love your wife wait wait will it scare up will it scare up will it scare up it will never happen it will never happen don't pick someone's daughter and put in your house knowing that you're not going to treat her the way she need to be treated all right and you as a daughter don't go to someone to some son's house home and stay there like a wife if you know you're not going to be submissive if you're not going to respect that guy if you're not going to be there for him do not do that if you're not ready to be in someone's life don't put yourself into that why why fake let me tell you something fake does not last forever lies they don't last forever you you get my point you fake it. You know, sometimes people say, uh, I, and you know, I have to fake because I want this from this guy. Huh. A guy says, I want to fake because I want this from this woman. My friend, it's going to explode. It's going to expire. The expiry, expiry day will come like this and it will be fire. It will be mortal. So guys, don't put your, your life, don't put yourself in somebody's life if you're not ready. Don't. And then don't put yourself in someone's life, being a man and being a woman, with one feet out like this. You're in a marriage, but one feet and one, this side of your body is outside, and this side of your body is in marriage. Will it scare happy? Will it scare happy? Let's start confusing ourselves and our children that are growing up. It's so sad for kids to grow up without both parents. It acts a lot. A son needs a daddy. A daughter needs a daddy. No child wants to grow up without a father. It's so heartbreaking. And you know, it affects kids' lifetime to a point that sometimes you see men saying, oh, oh a woman will, will say a guy will try to get a, a wife from this kind of a family. You hear some men say, oh, oh you know, some mother-in-law saying, oh, she comes from a single mother. 
kids who come from a single mother and not well brought up. Who said? Who said? We need to stop being a spectacle. We need to stop thinking beyond our minds and seeing things in a, you know, in a difficult ways. Are we together? So, we need to break this chain of single mothers. We need to break this chain of marriage breaking up. You know, you cannot stay in a toxic relationship. You cannot stay in a toxic marriage. You cannot stay in a abusive marriage as a woman and as a man. Even men, they get abused by women. It's not only as women we get abused. Even men, they do get abused by women. Yeah. That's for sure. And that's somebody's son, somebody's child, like the way you're someone's child. So don't put yourself in somebody's life if you're not ready to be in their life. Okay? If you get married to somebody, that's lifetime. Lifetime commitment. It is not a season. It is not a season. No, it's a lifetime commitment. If you, you are in a relationship, that's something different. Because it might not work and you can decide to go separate ways. But as long as you admit to be in a marriage, be ready. Be ready to be there for your partner. And one thing I've come to realize in this life, learn how to pray for your partners. Learn how to say, God, protect my wife from this. God, protect my wife from, you know, what do you call it, from um, temptations. A wife, be ready to pray for your man. God, protect my man from temptation, because temptations are always there. Okay? So, guys, please, please, I beg you, we need to break these chains of single mothers and single fathers. We need to break that because there's nothing like that in the Bible. As long as, and unless you're a widower, that's what we can understand. But, but, if you're married and your husband comes home every single day, why would you cheat? I don't understand when I'm seeing this story from Comrade uh, Flavor show. So many women cheating in nowadays. I'm up to share why women cheat. And I'm up to share why men cheat in the next video after this. I will be doing my videos following one another and, and continue with my story. Alright? So I'm happy to share why men cheat and why women cheat to the next video after this. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, comment, and